Hello, good morning. Hope you are well. In these times that are uncertain, but moving forward all the same. It's a, it's a gray and rainy day in DC and it's kind of beautiful. Um, I look out of a big window to the city. I see smoke or steam coming out of the chimney. Probably not smoke because it's not that cold. Um, yeah. Today's poem is called Your Catfish Friend by Richard Brodigan, I think. Um, you'll see his name in writing later. Got it. Anyway, um, Your Catfish Friend by Richard Brodigan. If I were to live my life in catfish form, in scaffolds of skin and whiskers at the bottom of a pond, and you were to come by one evening when the moon was shining down into my dark home, If I were to live my life in a catfish form, in scaffolds of skin and whiskers at the bottom of a pond, and you were to come by one evening when the moon was shining down into my dark home and stand there at the edge of my affection and think, it's beautiful here by this pond. I wish, I wish somebody loved me. I'd love you. I'd love you and be your catfish friend and drive such lonely thoughts from your mind. And suddenly you would be at peace and ask yourself, I wonder if there are any catfish in this pond. It seems like a perfect place for them. Your Catfish Friend by Richard Bradigan. Um, I hear a lot of people talk about being lonely. I hear a lot of people talking about sorrow and grief um, and what you're experiencing is sort of part of those feelings and, and I think they're all valid um, and it's very natural, right? You're just sitting home, some of us with one or two other people, some of us alone and just, just Sort of diving deeper and deeper and deeper in this landscape that we call ourself. Um, and it's just very natural that there is sorrow and grief and loneliness there. Uh, and we've been just so busy going from one place to another, talking to one place, one person to another, that we haven't actually fully traveled this landscape. Um, so I don't think any of those feelings are new. Um, it's just, we are walking down the streets and alleys of ourselves and, and sort of coming across these things. It's like, hello loneliness from 1994, hello grief from 2008, and so on and so forth, you know. I see you sorrow from three months ago. Sorry, come have a seat, let's chat. Because they are part of us, so. And we are home alone and I don't think any of those things carry COVID-19 or can pass it. So why not invite them over? Before I go, Picard, do you want to go say hi to people? Let's see. Uh, here's Picard. Um, my note to my future self. If you think this uncertainty is driving you crazy, remember that you have been trained for things that are uncertain. That you live life that by definition is uncertain. And remember you have been in more uncertain times. Maybe different formats, but certainly uncertain. So keep it up. All right, take care. See y'all later. Bye. Let's go to